everybody, this is another flying rookie video, and this is video number six. And in this video, I'm gonna be uh, balancing the props and installing the props into the aircraft. And once the props are installed on the aircraft, I have to make sure that the motors they are wired uh, the proper way. So they, they so, so I have to check, you know, that that's spinning to the right direction. Okay, so. Just to, before I proceed to deal with the props, um, I add a couple little things into the aircraft, like uh, I put the GoPro or Skeleton uh, camera mount, and I got it with this uh, extension mount, with, and with a tripod mount, uh, using the screw, I put it on this uh, tab over here, since this, uh, lower plate can you know, report tabs so the tabs I can use it to mount uh, uh, different you know piece of hardware or devices so that's the beautiful thing about this uh, uh, optional um, lower plate that I put over here and another change that I make here is the, uh, I secure the power cables with sick ties to the pillars over here because the props I'm going to use they're going to be 10 inch and I don't know how far this thing will be uh, from the prop so I don't want to take chances to the prop to hit the cables in mid air so that's why I decided to lock it and I found the uh, uh, antenna uh, mounting brackets and I just mounted it into the side of the frame so this receiver came with two antennas, so now I got the two antennas spread and separated by 90, 90 degrees. Because when you got receivers that got two antennas, the antennas are supposed to be mounted, you know, 90 degrees apart. Okay, so um, as you can see, also I got the double batteries here. So uh, this battery's got 1800 um, milliamps, three cells, and they're gonna be uh, working on parallel. So they should increase the milliamps all the way up to uh, 3600 milliamps. And this is the highest C batteries that I got. In <coughs> with all the batteries that I got, these ones are 40 C uh, batteries. So I just want to try this ones first on parallel and see how this aircraft is going to perform. Okay, so let me just show the, the input the, the aircraft away and get the equipment. The props. Then over here, the prop balancer. And this prop balancer is made by Dubro. And as far as I know, it's the best prop balancer on the market. Uh, I got over here the Team Low C Standard Blue. And I got the CA Blue. And I got the accelerator over here. So this thing is going to be used to balance the hub on the prop headers if the hubs need to be balanced. I got over here the, the proper mounts. These proper mounts that came with the motors that I got on my aircraft, the 2215 uh, 740KV uh, optimal motors from XC RC. I uh, got over here the exact amount. I got the sandpaper. This, uh, this is going to be used to uh, you know, uh, to sand the, 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 the blade that is uh, the, the heavier blades and that way you can get the two blades to uh, weight evenly and I got three different uh, uh, classes of sandpaper over here thickness. I got the 60, the 100, and the 150. So I'm just going to use the 60 and the 150. So I'm going to use the rough one, the uh, thin one. Uh, finally, I got the props here. I just move this thing away. And these props there, I got two pairs. Okay, so one pair is uh, the clockwise ones, and they are 10 by 3 8. And I got the counterclockwise one, or the ones that they call pushers. These ones they are made by APC. Okay, so these are the props I'm going to use on my. Uh, Blackcopter, I heard it's a great brand. A lot of people they buy these props are high quality, so 
this is the props I'm going to use. So pretty much over here I got everything I'm going to need to prepare the props and bounce them before I install the props on the aircraft. Also, um, I'm going to be using blue Loctite to secure um, the, the, the prop mounts into the aircraft. And I also want to use red Loctite on the counterclockwise mounts. Yes, I just don't want to use that much as a little drop, just to make sure that they don't come loose and lose a prop, you know, in mid-air and crash the aircraft like I saw on YouTube. Uh, so many times people fly black helicopters and losing props in mid-air and destroy the aircraft. So uh, I'm going to use Loctite on that. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much it of everything that I need to start this, so I'm going to commence right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the props right now, so let me just uh, pick uh, one of the counterclockwise. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show how to balance the props, just one prop and the other ones I'm going to do off camera. Okay, so as long as these props, this, this prop that I'm going to do gives me the normal difficulty that normally you get that's the, um, dealing with balancing props is the one that I'm going to choose to, uh, this is the one that's going to stay on the video, if not I'm going to try another one. Uh, I just want the prop to be difficult to deal with, so that way you can see all the challenges that you have to go through to get a prop balanced. So I'm just going to proceed to remove the prop of the, the package. Uh, comes with uh, this walk of the floor. It comes with a little a paper sheet that got some instructions. And it comes with these uh, adapters over here. So I gotta make sure I use the adapter, this uh, uh, six uh, millimeters. I don't know which one it is, so I gotta figure it out. Alright. Put it here, direct it to the. Um, we just put the prop first. Okay, so it's like 6 millimeter. So all the adapters that I got here, you have to go in this hole, so I gotta make sure I pick the right size. I guess this is not the right size. So this is the one that I need. So I'm going to remove this little space over here with the factor line. This is the one I'm going to do. Anything I'm going to do with this prop, you guys got to do it in all the props. Okay. So. Spacer up and now the spacer inside the prop. So let's put some pressure. So it looks like it's all the way in. And I'm just pull this thing away. I got another space over here that I'm not going to need, so I just put it, put this thing away. Now, what you do with this uh, prop is you have to mount it on this shaft over here, so just remove this uh, little piece of uh, rubber, the spring, the washer, <coughs> and you just mount the prop here, and you just put the the spring, the little yeah, I mean, put first the spade, the conical spacer, the watcher. I mean the spring, and you do the watcher. And finally, you put the little you know fear holes. 
do that. Just make sure it's tight. I'll cut this mount of the scissors. I'm going to the scissors to the other side. And then what you do is just mount the prop and see which side is the heavy side. Okay, so apparently this blade is the heavy blade, so let me just uh, do it again and see what's going to happen. Okay. Okay, so this blade is the heavy blade, so this is the one that you have to, you know, sand. So let me just get the rough paper first. Sixty order here. <clears throat> Let me just do this thing again. See what's going to happen. It's really important to, you know, balance the props because, you know, the vibration we make the ball bearings. You know, they won't last long, and they will. <coughs> And if the gyro, you know, gets all that vibration, it might make the aircraft glitch in mid-air and it can crash. Okay, so that's why it's important to always, always balance the props. Okay, so let me just uh, try this side. When you uh, when you sand the blade, you gotta sand the blade on the back. Okay, so this is the back of the blade. This is the side that you sand. Okay, so you just use first the uh, the rough. paper and then you know you just scrub a little bit and then just put it back and see what's the progress okay still heavy so I have to say more too much because now this side is heavy so I gotta sand this side a little bit see also you gotta make sure there's not like a like a fan or anything on or like a little breeze that could come out from somewhere because that would affect the performance of the balancer you know you cannot have any you have to do this in an area where you're not getting any wind okay so it looks like it's balanced anyway let me now I gotta use the fine uh, sandpaper Okay, 
so let's use the phone and paper and let's see the result here okay another way to find out if the prop is perfectly balanced is you have to first uh, put it uh, di in a diagonal position and just make sure the prop stays there if it stays there then just try the overplay and see if the other play doesn't go down. It's just a tiny bit heavy right now, but you staying put it there anyway. So let me just uh, put it the other way over here. Okay, there's a possibility that I might have to balance the the hub but first I'm gonna sand this display a little bit more with the insane paper and see if I can get it it feels like still a little bit heavy this thing still takes time sometimes there are blades that you can get it done in five minutes and some of this is going to take you probably like an hour okay so this thing is time consuming but it's something that has to be done <coughs> okay so it's staying in position let me just put it like this and see what happens I guess I don't have to go balance the hub after all. You have to check, you know, put the blade in all the positions that you could imagine. You know, you can have to put it, uh, try first and put it, you know, in a horizontal, uh, horizontal position, then put it uh, 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 vertical, and then try diagonal, you know, like this, and see if there's any change, you know. This side is heavy. Okay, so what well, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrub the hub on this side a little bit, and I'm gonna proceed to put glue in here. Okay, so I got the CA glue over here. some glue in there and now I'm going to use the accelerator so it still will make the glue cure faster accelerator smell weird smell like freaking copper time and this uh this is what you do to balance the hub you have to use some uh and you have to keep using it until it completely uh, uh, balance the, the prop. So it's important you not only balance the blades, but you have to balance the hub as well. So I'm going to just put this thing over here. Okay, uh, I'll stay in position. I'm going to move. 
accelerator that fall to the blades because this thing also is going to help me to balance the crop quickly so I just have my glue here so let's see this still does the trick okay the blade stay in place over here and then I'll try it this way yep I'll try crop is now perfectly balanced after almost 10 minutes you know <clears throat> the almost uh, 50 minutes fighting with it I just managed to balance this crop okay so you guys got to do the same thing with all the props okay so uh, I'm gonna continue doing all the props off camera and then I'm gonna start mounting the props into the aircraft okay and then after that, I'm going to check the motor direction, just to make sure that the motors that were uh, wired uh, properly, okay? So, uh, this is the end of the section of this video, so I'm going to proceed to, uh, to the next uh, portion of the video. Okay, so I just finished balancing all the props over here, so um, props, it took me like 10 minutes to... 15 minutes to uh, balance, uh, but some of them took me almost 40 minutes because the hub was really, really unbalanced. One of the problems was weird. It was like the blades they were perfectly balanced. I didn't even have to balance the blade, but the hub was requiring some balancing. So uh, all the props are ready to uh, go. So. What I'm going to do first is the, the shafts on all the motors. I'm going to spread a little bit of uh, red Loctite to make them sticky. And what you do is you just put the Loctite on, <coughs> red Loctite on your finger and then you just spread it on, on the shaft. Um, I don't want to take chances of seeing you know all the props coming off. You know the aircraft when we fly, and this can help the props stay put. Okay, so just gonna do one more prop.
السلام
don't waste one. And then they count the crop lights. to the right direction so you just turn the radio on and I'm gonna plug one of the batteries one thing that I gotta make sure this uh,
y direction. So, okay, so then again, this is the end of video, video uh, number uh, six. And on the next video, I'm going to uh, do the first flight of this aircraft and see how he, how he does behave. Okay, so please uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.